Putin is forming mysterious private armies across Russia to protect himself from Wagner soldiers, report says. Here's a summary of the article. Authenticate users, apply security measures, and prevent spam and abuse, and if you do not want us and our partners to use cookies and personal data for these additional purposes, click Reject All. If you would like to customize your choices, click Manage Privacy Settings. You can change your choices at any time by clicking on the Privacy and Cookie Settings or Privacy Dashboard links on our sites and apps. This post received a score of 6,700, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. And then they will have to form new private armies to protect against traitors in the new private armies. Paranoia is a B. Putin. I play 4D chess. I already have a private army. To protect me from the private army I hired to protect me from the last private army I hired. Monty Python opening credits. We apologize for the mistakes in subtitles. Those responsible have been sacked. Feel. The llamas couldn't handle their tequila as why. Was it an African llama or a European llama? If my memory serves me correctly, I believe it is only the European variety that can grab tequila by the husk. Question mark. Nothing bad has ever happened with private militaries in Russia before. Yes. This will never result in a near-future multifaceted Russian civil war. Russia just learned of Japan's Warring States period and China's Three Kingdoms and wants its own version, but with more guns. And instead of samurai, there's gopniks. And instead of horses it'll be rusted out BTRs and T-55s. His logic is that if many different groups have guns, no single group of people with guns will be strong enough to win an internal civil war. Whenever you give dangerous people guns and limited oversight, their first instinct is to use their firepower to make money, take over businesses, and build empires. When they get big enough they start to butt up against each other and turf wars break out. So their violence starts to spill across borders and infect nearby countries. Sounds vaguely like Libya. Sounds like Europe after the Western Roman Empire collapsed. The only difference between today and 2000 plus years ago is when a government collapses, other governments enforce the obsolete borders. Sounds also like the Western Roman Empire itself, before it collapsed. And ancient China, and ancient India, and historical Japan, and Italy for like 1400 years straight after the fall of Rome. And the Holy Roman Empire. This has dozens if not hundreds of historical analogues. Not only is it a very common mode of failure in large nation states, you could argue that it's the default state of human social organization when larger or stronger sociocultural systems aren't enforcing cohesion for whatever reason, whether it's because they haven't been formed yet, because they don't have the power to, or because they've just disintegrated. China 19th century, various internal conflicts occur, which couldn't be handled by the National Banner Army. Among the private armies was an army called the Y Army. The Banner Armies became nothing more than appointments for the nobility and aristocrats. Y Army was finally led by Yuan Shikai who renamed it the Beiyang Army. Yuan Shikai overthrew the Qing Dynasty after the revolts of 1911. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.